Hello sledders, uh, I'm going to do a video here on uh, cleaning, well removing and cleaning the power valves on a, well you can see right here, a Skidoo 600 HO MXZ Adrenaline, uh, it's a 2004 model, uh, there's a slightly wider view for you. Um, I think it's a fairly common sled out there. This uh, procedure probably applies for, well, I'm sure it applies for more than just uh, this particular model. Uh, you've got the pretty standard 600 HO Rotax engine. Um, I've actually got the carb out right now. I'm not to uh, sidetrack the video here, but I pulled my carb off and noticed uh, that a boot here was completely torn so I will be uh, getting some new boots of course <clears throat> for that and get ready for the season but uh, this video is all about um, taking out the power valves kind of a known uh, maintenance thing I uh, should pull out the power valves and clean them uh, probably once every season uh, this procedure is actually pretty pretty simple it's just a couple hex heads to pull the cap off. There's a spring behind there, it comes off with it. Real simple. And then you pull out these two Allen screws uh, per per uh, power head there. So there's two of them. Um, and then once you take that out, all you really need to do is clean off the uh, the um, uh, I don't even know what you call it. Uh, it's the thing that adjusts the uh, opening, the exhaust port opening. Um, but uh, you'll see that after I uh, remove them. So let's get started. This is uh, pretty simple here. Again, first you take the cover off, uh, and that requires an eight, I believe it's eight millimeter socket. Very easy to take off. And then after that comes off, you need a, uh, you're gonna need a Allen head. Actually, I have this, I'm not quite sure what size this Allen is. Um, I don't have socket Allens per se. Uh, I got a quarter inch socket and the Allen bit in it, which works just fine, but uh, not quite as clean as having a Allen bit. But so first thing you do here is uh, remove this plastic cap. Uh, I'll I'll show you how to do one of these. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do both right now for the video anyway. Of course, I'll do both ultimately. But the procedure for one is exactly the same as the other, and Actually, this one's easier to get to than the other one. Uh, you'd think you could get to these through the front, but uh, there's really too much in the way. The frame is the frame of this the rev chassis is just it's right in the way of these power valves, so it's actually ends up being easier to get to from here. And it's, it's really not that hard. It's just more of a reach for the for the mag side. One. But anyway, it's best to kind of loosen these off. Together, and get one, get one pretty well loosened off, and then get the other started. And there's a spring under there that's going to want to push the push the plastic cap out. So as you're as you're loosening as well, it might stick if it's been a while, which actually just works for you. And uh, this is not spinning out yet. It's just kind of gummed up, so I'm going to have to keep using the socket here to get it all the way out. Once it gets to where I can spin it out, I'll just use, use my fingers. There we go, the spring's starting to push, there you go. The spring wants to push that cap right out now. And that out, that side's off. And just make sure you don't lose the spring. That's all it is, just a single uh, spring. Very basic. And that's off now. Don't lose the screws. And the spring is right here. This goes inside here. Don't need to do anything with this. Just uh, well, don't lose the screws. I like to just set them in here along with the spring and set that up on your seat or wherever. You think you're not going to lose it. 
knocked it over. Uh, now take your Allen and uh, you want to start loosening the actual power valve off. Uh, I'm make sure you set it to loosen. Uh, just needs to take a little bit to crack. A little bit of torque, not too bad. And what you need to do with these is back them off together. In other words, uh, back one off a little ways and then move over to the other one. And you have to keep going back and forth with them because as you're backing them off, the head of the Allen is hitting the actual valve. So you back them both off, pull the whole power valve out a little bit, and do the same. You gotta go through that a few times. Oh, actually on this one doesn't seem to be hitting. Uh, last one I did, the Allen heads were hitting, so I had to kind of back them off together slowly until until the power valve came out. Not quite sure why this one's a little different. A little more space around this for some reason. But in any case, there you go, just uh, Allen screws. Again, don't lose those. And now this uh, power valve should. Oh, uh, the gasket. You need to take the gasket out with it. Actually, be careful if you want to retain the gasket. That's the the the, the actual the actual um, working end of this does not slide through the gasket. It's trapped on by the gasket. And uh, you can see I wouldn't be able to slide the gasket off now until I take the power head off uh, the the power valve or uh, the working end here. Um, so, you can see why this needs to be cleaned here. Um, this one's not too, too bad, um, but this is, this is uh, why you need to clean this. These need to control the exhaust port, and they need to be able to move in and out uh, smoothly. And if they're gummed up, like this one is, with a lot of uh, carbon buildup, from the exhaust, uh, they won't work as well. They won't move as smooth. So that's the uh, idea behind cleaning them. So you just take them out and really, uh, all you do is you spray them down with a bunch of, uh, you can use carb cleaner. Um, not sure what else you can use. I've heard of people using other things too. But And then while it's out, you can also check uh, this little bellows mechanism here. That's That's what allows this to move in and out. It's kind of a it's a bellows mechanism that's that's secured on by uh, just springs, really. You don't need to take that apart for any reason. Um, but uh, just know that that needs to move in and out, and this gasket's keeping me from sliding this thing all the way in and out. But as long as that's moving good, that part of it's fine. Uh, I do see a rubber ring there, and actually I'm not exactly sure where that's supposed to be. I don't think that that's supposed to be sitting out like that. I'll find out where that goes, and uh, we'll uh, take care of that during the cleaning process. So, time to clean it up. Okay, so here's the power valve out on the uh, workbench and as always you want to have some space here uh, along with um, a rag or something. Um, in this case we're just cleaning, we're not taking out a lot of small parts so it's not that critical but it's always good to have space to do work like this on. Um, so anyway, to uh, what you want to do is remove this to clean it. Much easier to clean once it's off all you need to do there is you put a 10 millimeter socket on this uh, this uh, plastic fitting at the top of the bellows here. Just hold that there and you can take the uh, the piece, the working end of this, and just turn it out. It's just 
fairly tight. Not much torque at all to get it out. And drop your socket. Just hold on to that. Pull it out. Hold the gasket aside. Uh, um, I do like to wipe off the, the gasket a little bit just to get any residual buildup on there. Don't really need to clean that. Actually, I would not recommend trying to take anything to that to clean it. You don't want to tear the you don't want to tear the uh, the gasket. That's very reusable. Actually, it looks like it's in good shape. Um, don't lose the O-ring either. Whatever it's for. Uh, so here's what I like to do is uh, take kind of a length of paper towel here. Cut that, save, save one half for one and one half for the other. Take it, wrap it, paper towel, take your carb cleaner and soak it and let it sit not for very long just a few minutes after it sits I'm going to take my uh, wire brush here and uh, scrub it off that that uh, carbon buildup should come right off so pause the video now and Come back after a few minutes. Okay, so I let this, uh, uh, don't even know what to call this, uh, piece, working piece here, the power valve working piece here, I let it sit in this wet, this paper towel soaked in carb cleaner and without even using the wire brush by the time I took it off and wiped it down it was like 99% clean here I do not even need to use the wire brush there's a tiny bit of buildup right on the tips there and I'm not going to even bother with that because if I don't need to use the wire brush I won't I don't want to scratch up the aluminum anyway if I had to, I would have. Um, this stuff's basically off. That thing looks pretty much brand new right now. So, what I'll do here is I'll wipe off some of this too. It's not really critical. This thing's pretty clean, little build up there, but there's not going to be any uh, performance issues with that. Um, so, anyway, I'm, I'm pretty sure this ring just does slide on here. Uh, I looked at the other, other valve and it was the same. It was just floating up and down on the shaft. I'm guessing it's just designed to keep this working piece from banging up against this collar keep this collar from banging up against by the time it's seated in from banging up against there so it just it rides up and down on there I would think it would have been fixed in there a little bit better or something uh, I don't know if, if anybody out there knows if this is supposed to be in a different position other than sitting on this shaft uh, please let me know so I can fix it before the season starts okay, so just uh, just start threading that back in and then what happens it seats down gets a little tight and then you can go a little bit further and that's pretty much it it just comes to a stop and you can tell it's come to the end anyway well almost a little further because you ultimately when it's tight you want it to be parallel with this so when it gets put back in obviously these hold this needs to line up with the port 
these holes need to line up so it'll naturally line itself up, but it's tight now, so well this is the top, so it's gonna go in this way. So that's it. And uh the reinstallation is exactly the opposite of uninstalling it. Just slide this in, tighten it, secure it down with the two Allen heads, put the cap on, make sure the spring is under it, tighten it down with the hex heads and you're done. That's it. That's how you clean your power valves and they'll be ready for the season. Thanks for watching. Yeah, feel free to comment. Thank you.